Hey guys, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I, I'm sort of playing around with a new app that I, that I downloaded from my iPad and my iPhone, and I'm gonna do a little video on how to update a Helix unit. Now, this works across the Helix units, 10, SI, Mega, Gen 1s. As far as I know, this covers them all. You can see here I have a little Helix 9. Now this is a straight CI unit. Nothing but 2D on this unit. It's just a unit I had sort of ended up with somewhere down the road. But we're going to update this unit from 1.4 to 1.6, isn't it? Now my transducer is laying on the bench. I've got everything running through a power supply so I can shoot this video for you guys. I do not recommend updating this way. I like to update on the boat with either the motor running while it's updating or the battery charger plugged in because if the power goes out, you are hosed. You're gonna have to send it back to Humminbird. So quickly, let me show you what version of software I have on this unit right now. If you don't know this, you can go up here to the top right corner and you can hold down the view button and you go down to system and to find out your software version you simply do self test now one thing I like about this new app is it has a pause button on it so I'm gonna pause it for just a second and we're back okay I just wanted to blank out my serial number and my location here but you can see that's running software version 1.440 I do not have the new base map on this version. May or may not put it on this version, but that's the reason it's where it says base map. It just has the dash lines. Okay. All right, so let me reach up here and hit view. And we're going to go back out to a view where I can uncover the screen. And from this point, I'm going to take an SD card. And I have that SD card right here. Okay, I've downloaded the update for this version. Now, you can get the update by logging into your support site on Humminbird.com, and you'll see any updates they've released at that screen. Okay, so let's take this card, and it goes with the writing side facing the screen, and we're going to slide it into either card slot. Makes no difference. We're going to pop it in and you will see that it pops up and of course it tells you you are going from 1.440 to 1.610 so it, it what's it say here replacing the software on this unit will blah 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 losing power may corrupt the unit and require shipment to hummingbird okay i understand all that so it says replace software do you want to you simply go yes abort software now this screen's a little confusing because they give you a chance to back out notice it says abort software update if you want to stop at this point you hit yes but since we don't want to stop we simply go the other direction the no it's going to flash and tell you that it's updating leave power on and there's myself in the screen hi folks Okay, while that's updating, I'm going to lean on the drill press here. And I'm not really sure how long this will take to update. I wouldn't think that long. Now, once again, let me reiterate here that I don't, I like to do this either with the boat running or the battery charger plugged in. Uh, this is a little risky trying to do it with the uh, just plugged into the plugged into a power supply because if the power went off or something else happened, it would be boom. Okay, on, you see where this says current software version uh, version 1.610, no update. The reason it did that is because I left the card in. I don't pull the card out during the update process when it's rebooting because I have no idea what would happen and I'm not going to take that chance. So, all right, here we can hit exit. And once again, 
no GPS. Exit again. Now, one thing I have figured out today is if I hit the power button and I go down and lower the light to about so, you can actually see the entire unit. Okay? So, let's exit here. And I'm going to pull the SD card out. Like so. Put the little flap back on. And I'm going to, once again, hold down the view button. Pops up shortcut menu. Now you can quickly jump to some sonar views and some chart views here. But we want to go down to system. And we're going to go to system status. And I'm going to pause you for just... And I'm back. Just covering up my serial number here. Okay, and we have successfully updated to 1.610. Okay? Now, one other step, and I know this, they will tell you this makes no difference, but I've been doing this a long time. I've seen this clear up a lot of gremlins that you get after software updates, is I will go into the menu, hit menu twice, go down to setup and see where it says restore defaults. I will simply do that. Boom, we're back to defaults. Now, let, let me let me do let me say one thing. And I seem to have scooted that a little bit. Let me say one thing here. Installing your update should not mess with your waypoints at all. But I would back them up to the, an SD card before I started, just to make sure. Okay? All right, hopefully that helped you. Uh...